All right, guys. We're out here in the cock, and we got one goal in mind today: catch some fish to eat. So I got some family coming over tonight, and I promised them I'd make them some fish. So uh, kind of the pressure's on for me today to catch something. We're gonna be trying for halibut at first, and uh, if that doesn't work, maybe we'll try for lingcod. We're, we're just gonna see where where this uh, day takes us. But we're gonna start off trolling for some halibut. Hopefully no sharks are out here today, and we'll see what happens. Stay tuned. All right, guys, I got some questions in my last video about the trolling setup that I was using. And we're gonna be using the same setup today. So it's basically a three-way swivel there, and there's our main line. And this comes down to a sinker. We're gonna put on, I think this is a 10-ounce sinker. Okay, so we're going to put on a 10 ounce sinker and that's going to keep it at least close to the bottom. And then we got about a foot to our flasher and then another three feet or so to this, it's called a hoochie, it's basically a little squid imitation. And this is what we caught our last halibut on and we're hoping that it's going to work again today. Basically all we're going to do here is drop this down close to the bottom. You want to get as close to the bottom as possible without dragging on the bottom. So it can be a little bit of a finesse game. You want to be, you don't want to drag on the bottom because we, we may or may not be coming across a few rocks. And in that case, you'll tend to get, you, you don't want, you want to avoid the snag. So as close as you can to the bottom without touching the bottom. And then we're gonna try and troll at constant speeds a little bit harder in a kayak. If we don't have a motor, we can just set to a one speed. But I'm gonna to try to troll right around one to one and a half knots. And hopefully, this gets shellacked by a halibut. So especially when we're moving from different depths, I like to check it every, I don't know, two or three minutes. See how far we are from the bottom. We want to be probably a foot or two off the bottom, like I said, just skimming the surface of those rocks without hitting them. How bit our bottom feeder, so they, we do want to get as close to them as we can. Alright guys, first fish of the day. I think it's a rock fish. Let's see here. Yep, little rockfish. Well, nothing else, at least it gets the skunk off. Alright, there's a little rockfish there. I think this is either an olive rockfish or a yellow... I think this is an olive rockfish. Correct me if I'm wrong, but... Just a little guy. We'll let this guy go. Well, another one on. I think this one's a little bit bigger. He actually took a little bit of drag when I first hooked him. I was literally just dropping it down to the bottom from the last little rockfish that we got. Actually, now he's feeling kind of weak. Oh, a little lingcod. All right, little lingcod there. If this was about 26 inches or above, I'd probably keep him, but definitely not. This is probably like 16 to 18 inches there. You can see those teeth in there. Definitely wouldn't want to stick your finger in there, but too small for us today, so we'll let this guy go. And he's off.
Let's see what we got here. Hmm, this feels like, I don't know, I'm not gonna guess. I'll probably be wrong. But this feels a little bit heavier than what we've been catching before. It is on the fish finder there. What do we have? Oh, it's a halibut. It's, it's close. Close to 20, the legal size on these is 22 inches. And this guy's gonna be pretty close. All right, so since this guy's close to keeper, not for sure, I'm not gonna gaff him because I don't wanna leave a giant hole in him if he is in fact undersized. So this could get interesting here. Oh, there he goes, he just came off. Pretty sure he, he was pretty close, borderline right around 22 inches or so. Didn't want to gaff him because I don't want to leave a giant hole in the fish if he's not a keeper. Just hooked up here. I feel like this is a halibut. How big it is, I don't know, but it feels Ooh, there it goes. Taking some drag there. Come on, baby. What do we have here? Uh, nope, it's a lingcod. Hmm. Thought it was a halibut. Guess it's a lingcod. Let's see what we got here. Oh, he's barely hooked. Yeah, I don't think he's a keeper, but we're gonna measure him anyway. There he goes. Once again, I don't want to gaff a fish if I'm not for sure it's a keeper. So that's why I don't want to gaff this guy. Okay. Well, thought for sure it was a halibut, but this guy had me fooled. Get him on the hook there. So the legal size on lingcod is 22 inches here in California, where I'm fishing. And I don't think this guy's gonna make it, nope. Gonna be too small, 20 inches. But he did put up a good fight. Some lingcod are just normal, regular, white color like any other fish, but then some of them have this really cool blue coloring. And I don't know if you can see there in the mouth, really blue flesh. If you were to fillet this guy up, all the meat would be blue. And then when you cook it, it turns back to regular color, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference, but this meat is real blue. You can see it really, really, uh, you can see it really well on the belly there. Just a real cool blue color big teeth like I was seeing earlier but yeah just a cool fish we'll let him go he put up a good fight so he deserves every bit of this there he goes there he goes all right a little bit of excitement what do we have here I didn't think we were gonna hook up again Considering we're right outside the harbor here, but I think we might have gotten ourselves another halibut here. Yep, definitely undersized, but it is another halibut. Here's another little one, definitely even smaller than the one we had earlier. But this was the target species today. You can see that guy's no more than like 12 inches or so. One thing on the halibut, how you can tell them from different flounder species like sand dabs and other flounders is they have this little line that arches up right here on the bottom side of the 
fish. So brown on this side, white on this side, and the white side has this little arch right here. I don't know if you can see that. Should be able to. It's got that arch that goes up. And that's how you can tell these halibut from other flatfish, like sand dabs, flounders. Hey, little guy. Hopefully we'll catch this guy next year. Watch this, this guy's gonna shoot off. Oh, there he goes. I predicted it. All right, I think we're gonna end it on that fish, considering we're right outside the harbor here. But uh, hopefully you learned a little bit about halibut and drift uh, trolling for them, and the setup that I've been using. And obviously you can catch other fish as well. We caught a couple of undersized ling cod and some rockfish. And uh, all in all, no keepers today, so we're gonna have to break something out of the uh, freezer for tonight's dinner. But still caught a lot of fish, so. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions about the rig that I was using or anything really, leave them in the comments below. Always check all the comments. And uh, thank you guys for watching. We'll catch you next time.